There's a lot of good about Los Angeles and a lot of bad. It is the land of opportunity, the city of angels. People fly in from all across the globe just to get a glimpse of the Hollywood sign, the Santa Monica Pier, Beverly Hills where the rich and famous live. But today in this video, I'm gonna be talking about five reasons why you should not move to Los Angeles in 2024. Let's just get right into the video. Number one is the cost of living. This would probably be an obvious one because Los Angeles is so populated. It is a bit more expensive to live here. If you're gonna be moving to a one bedroom on the west side per se, or in the heart of the city, expect to pay 2,500 for any kind of decent one bedroom apartment. If you want something more upgraded and remodeled, you're gonna have to definitely go higher than that, over 3,000, maybe even up to 4,000, which could be pretty expensive depending on what kind of job opportunities you do find out here. But if you don't wanna be in the heart of the city or by the ocean, you wanna maybe live in the northern San Fernando Valley or in the uh, southern part of Los Angeles, south central area, or a bit more inland in the Inland Empire, you can find much cheaper places to rent and homes to buy. You can buy a $500,000 home in the Inland Empire or somewhere in the central San Fernando Valley areas, but 500,000 is getting you nothing on the west side. You're gonna definitely have to pay over a million, well over a million as the average price point of a home out here is around a million dollars in the LA County. And Los Angeles is huge, so you definitely need to find the specific area and neighborhood that fits your liking, your style, your culture, and your people. And not only is housing expensive, everything else is expensive. Gas is expensive, food is expensive, you're not gonna be spending less than $18 for any kind of meal, and that includes Chipotle. But with the high cost of living does come a lot of big opportunities. If someone else can afford it, that means you can too with the right effort, the right determination to seek out these ventures. And I do believe everyone has the ability to make an impact in this city if you are determined to make it happen. Although you can look at the cost of living as a burden, maybe flip your mindset around and I'm probably gonna be doing this with all five points on this list. But I do think if you try to understand that it's gonna be expensive to live here, but there are millions and millions of people that do live here, how can they afford it? Maybe I can too. They're just regular people, just like you. So with a high cost of living comes a lot of other opportunities. Figure it out, make it happen, and then you can live your dream out in La La Land. But let's go on to number two, and that would be the traffic and commute times. Obviously, traffic is not a secret in Los Angeles. It's going to take you maybe 30 minutes on average to get anywhere, and that's without traffic. Definitely expect to double that if you're gonna go from Santa Monica to downtown Los Angeles on the 10 freeway in the middle of the day because you're not gonna be moving. You're gonna be stuck in bumper to bumper for a majority of that commute. Or if you're gonna be going north on the 405 at the end of the day, south on the 405 uh, in the beginning of the day. It definitely depends on the time of day. And once you figure out the rush hours and the certain pockets that you should avoid specific freeways, then that's how you become an expert in the city like uh, I might be myself. Sitting in traffic doesn't only waste time, but it definitely contributes to the stress of a lot of residents out here and the overall dissatisfaction of living in LA in general. I know people that leave LA just because of the issue of traffic and overpopulation, but putting a positive twist on this, as I said I will be doing, figure out what you as an individual like doing when you're just sitting alone in traffic, whether that be listening to good music, getting the vibes right, or throwing on a podcast, educating yourself, learning something while you have an hour to blow. Let's just move right into number three because this kind of coincides with number two in the traffic issue. And that would be that LA is massive. It truly is like no other city. You can drive from Santa Monica to Silver Lake or even toward the Inland Empire and really just run into so many little unique neighborhoods with small retail stores on every street. Sometimes it's crazy to even understand how all of these retail stores are doing enough business to be able to pay rent and continue to sit on the side of big streets such as Melrose or Vine or Santa Monica Boulevard. And the fact that it is massive means you can live any life you choose to live. If you don't like a specific life that you're living in Silver Lake, then move down to Gardena. Maybe you can find a different crew down there. But as this is a list of cons, LA being massive is definitely hard to make genuine friends, genuine relationships, and keep those connections with you around for the long haul. If you meet someone that may think would be a long-term friend or companion, maybe you met them in Venice, but you live in downtown LA. Now that is hard to make consistent efforts to see someone for maybe a quick meal if you're gonna be having to commute an hour plus just to see them for 
a second. Someone living in the San Fernando Valley compared to living in Beverly Hills will be having two completely different perceptions of LA. That's why I don't like when people talk down on Los Angeles because in my personal opinion, I absolutely love it here. Now this is a list of why you should not move to Los Angeles, but you may see the media talking down on a bunch of different aspects of LA or someone that you heard of that moved to LA and had a horrible experience. But the fact that it is so large and so sprawled out, you can't put one person's perception of what they think Los Angeles is and mold that as your own. Just because Aunt Susie's friends, sisters, cousin Betty, told you that Los Angeles sucks because her neighbor climbed on her roof and threw something at her cat, doesn't mean all of Los Angeles is bad. I promise you can find some good in every pocket around here. But let's move on to number four, and that would be one of the major concerns, the impact of the homelessness out here. Now, yes, there is a lot of homelessness. No matter what area you're in, you're going to be seeing a tent encampment or two. You're going to be seeing homeless people walk by you on the streets. And that is a problem that Los Angeles is hopefully going to be cleaning up in the future. But I do have to say it was at the worst during the 2020, 2021 period. It did get much better 2022. 2023, Venice was completely cleaned up. Now in certain pockets that you wouldn't see homeless, you might, and then in certain pockets that there were large encampments, maybe they're not there anymore. So it really just depends, but I do hope that LA gets it figured out in the coming future, because it is unfortunate that those people have to go through what they're going through, and it does add a burden to specific parts of this city. But going on to number five, and that is the competitive job market. Some people move to LA to fulfill their dreams. They think they can become an influencer, become an actress, an actor, or find a corporate job in tech, make a lot of money, and then live every day like it's their last in LA. Wouldn't that be the dream, right? Well, it doesn't work like that for everyone. Some people move out here and they can never find a job. Some people move out here even if they have a job lined up and then they lose it in a few months. Although there are endless amounts of different job opportunities that you can get and truly an endless amount of people that you can meet that can guide you in the right direction to have those opportunities. It's still hard to find a job and keep a job for the long haul so you can feel a sense of security while living in an expensive city like LA. Whether you're in entertainment, technology, healthcare, every industry is going to be competitive. So specifically, you as an individual need to figure out a way to reinvent yourself or differentiate yourself from the pack if you truly want to make an impact and a difference in what you want to be doing. And also complaining about a competitive job market is not gonna make it less competitive. And this city is the best city in the world for networking, learning new skills, truly growing your talents and persevering in whatever that is you wanna be doing. So although the competitive job market can be daunting for newcomers moving out here and those seeking employment outside of the major industries, this does lead to challenges to find suitable employment. But as I said earlier in the video, I do believe that it is up to you as an individual and everyone on their own to move out here that with the right mindset, you truly can make the life that you want to make happen. And ask anyone that is further than you in the specific industry that you're in, because having a pessimistic outlook is not going to help you figure it out. I'm going to throw a number six in here just for fun, and that's going to be the people. A lot of people move to LA, they have this stigma of what the people are like out here. They think that everyone is disingenuous, a poser, an imposter, people that are only takers and not givers, people that are always looking for something out of someone instead of just to build genuine relationships. And that is definitely possible if you are involved in the scene, in the Hollywood scene, the influencer scene, or just the scene of climbing the ranks, trying to go to all the in places, the most popular restaurants, clubs, bars, and those are all very fun to go to and experience. But I truly think it just depends on who you surround yourself with. So although it's very easy to get sucked into that crowd of people that are honestly not like you and don't really care too much about you, but there are places that you will be able to find your group of individuals, people that actually like you, that want to build a genuine relationship. Anytime you hear people talk trash on just people in LA in general absolutely do not have a big enough sample size to be able to determine that. There are millions and millions of people in LA and if you've only met dozens or even hundreds of people out here, that's still too small of a sample size to be able to determine an entire population being a specific type of way. But because this is a video about why you should not move here, don't move to LA because a lot of the people are definitely going to backstab you. And I do think you probably have to go through that just to get that experience under your belt, learn from it, take it as it is and 
be better because of it. Any failure in life, any opportunity missed is just a lesson to be learned and taken on into the future. But that was the five topics of why you should not move to Los Angeles in 2024. I feel like I just turned this video into uh, an advertisement of why you should move to Los Angeles or why you should switch your mindset around if you're thinking about hating on Los Angeles to be the optimist and give it a chance. Because although there is a lot of bad, there is a lot of good, and that's why we like LA. If it was just perfect all around, then would it even be perfect after all? Because there has to be some grit, some struggle in order to see that perfection pan out. And as a native Evangelino, I truly do love this city that I call home every single day. I'm blessed to be able to do what I'm able to do. And with that said, my name is Darren Kriz. I have a real estate sales and marketing team. We help clients buy, sell, and invest in properties in this beautiful city every single day. If you have any question about Los Angeles in general, hit the subscribe button. I have videos on all topics Los Angeles, on all cities in Los Angeles, and I showcase real estate and homes in LA as well. If you want videos on the pros of Los Angeles, check out the rest of my videos. I have made those in the past. But with that being said, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.